Okay, so for today's Make You Smile, we're going to tell you something scary. Because I want to stay with the Halloween theme for my, my dailies if I can for this month. But I was thinking of something really freaky that happened to me once. Um, I was... Uh, I was at my house and I got up during the night at the time I used to always wake up quite a bit and um, sleepwalk sometimes myself or usually though I'd get up and I'd get something to drink so during the night I got up to go get my something to drink and I <laughs> I bumped into my child and she would sleepwalk as well and I just knew don't wake her up you know so I lightly ran my fingers through her hair, put my hand on the center of her back, and I guided her back to bed, and I tucked her in. And then I went and I got my water, and I went back to bed. And then I shot up, because I remembered my daughter was at her father's house. I had no children at my house that night. I want to know what the hell I tucked in my kid's bed. <laughs> It, 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 it was something that really it freaked me out to no end. It was something that it scared me to death. And a couple days later, I saw a little girl walk. We had a glass shower doors and I saw her walk by the door and I recognized her by the hair and the dress because I realized it, but at the time it never clicked that my kid didn't have a dress like that. She had long curly hair at the time. So that part was her. But I had to laugh my but off when I realized that I tucked a child into my daughter's bed and it wasn't her. And when I finally got up and went back and looked, yeah, I, I had no kid in there. there. There was no one there. I asked later on um, one of the neighbors when I was talking to her and she informed me that there actually was a little girl who had died um, of a childhood illness a few years back in the neighborhood and she used to play at the house I was at a lot. Cool. <laughs> Uh, that could be a little freaky. I, I um, definitely wish luck to whoever is at the house now. Um, <laughs> it was some creepy stuff, but every once in a while you get that really cool little spooky thing that'll happen, and you know, you walk away. It's not like you have to run to the basement or up to the attic and hope the killer don't find you. So, I lived. My kids a lot. Everybody lived. <laughs> well, except for the ghost, I guess. But either which way. It was kind of a funny, crazy story. But I, I definitely enjoyed it. And it made me giggle. Ooh, and it made me knock stuff over. But I hope you guys at least laughed or smiled and went, holy shit, that was a lot. But it was a good day. It was uh, very crazy. And after that, I um, definitely was very careful about finding my daughter sleepwalking. <laughs> I was a little more prone to want to wake her up. That was for sure. Well. I hope everybody had a great day. I hope everybody found something to smile, laugh, get a chuckle out of something. And I will be back tomorrow. I hope that you guys are enjoying my videos. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to start upping my shorts too come tomorrow. Um, I thought of a really great one today that I didn't really have anything to do with the Halloween -y thing, so I didn't want to throw that in there. But it's a good one. So, ooh. All right, that was crazy. But tomorrow I will go ahead and I will start putting those in too. So just make sure you guys start to follow me more. It'd be really cool. I'll definitely make sure that you uh, stay entertained. So everybody have a great night. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have fun out there.